Danny Enno to drop a mind-blowing EP pretty soon. According to King Kong, this EP is going to earn him a Grammy Award. EP never yet dropped and we are already talking about Grammy Award. This is Cameroon, land of promise, land of glory. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Kames number one infotainment show, Hot and Juicy. And I am Miss Beg. Let's get it popping with the first segment of this program. And you know how we do it here, right? Stick around, guys. I'll be right back. Welcome back guys, with so much joy in my heart, let me present to you the top 10 most influential Cameroonian personalities of 2020. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's get started with the 10th position. Our number 10 most influential personality of 2020, we have Cameroonian politician Maurice Kanto. We all know how active he was last year. Coming up at the ninth position, we have the incredible UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis Gano, most influential personality of 2020. And making it to our list on the eighth position is multiple awards winning Cameroonian actor and producer, Kang Kintos. We all know the grandeur of his movie, The Fisherman's Diary. Last year, 2020, the movie earned him more than six to six awards in more than 30 countries. Coming up at the seventh position on our list of most influential Cameroonian personalities of 2020 is multiple award winning Cameroonian artist and producer Salatiel Hyman General. Let's move straight to the sixth position with this beautiful and talented Cameroonian entrepreneur, founder and CEO of Apps Tech. Her name is Rebecca Enoncho. Okay guys, this is the first segment of this show, Hot and Juicy, and we are talking about the top 10 most influential personalities of 2020, and it is time for us to have our top 5. Let's continue with the 5th position, and smashing our 5th position of most influential Cameroonian personalities of 2020 is multiple award winning Cameroonian artist, Daphne. We all heard about her rape story and how active she became fighting for the rights of ladies that were victim of rape and other stuff and we also know about her foundation be womanly which has been very active lately coming up at the fourth position we have cameroonian social media influential steve Farr. he has been very active when it comes to revealing young talent and last year it was mad we are still enjoying the young talent he revealed last year 2020 he makes it to the fourth position of this classification our third most influential personality of 2020 is the talented and retired Cameroonian international soccer legend, Samuel Eto. Our second position is matched by Cameroonian Minister of Public Health, who is no other person but Dr. Manawuda Malashi. We all know how active he was at the beginning of 2020 when we when we're still struggling with the coronavirus issue yeah he did a great job ladies and gentlemen making it our first position of top 10 most influential personalities of 2020 is no other person but cameroon's minister of territorial administration his excellency paul atanganji <laughs> we all know how active when it comes to ministerial duties how atanganji is right we all know that soon, parties will be entering in competition for the upcoming election. And Jovi allegedly makes 50 million francs CFA sales from its recently released EP in just 24 hours. What a record! Can we appreciate Jovi for this? Boko God makes history by selling 20,000 copies of his recently released mixtape titled Young Vizu Anointed Mboko Supreme in just 24 hours of release. That happened on his personal online streaming platform, Jengu Online. Reports say he sold 20,000 copies in just 24 hours, making 50 million francs CFA. What you have not is that a copy of that mixtape is 2,500 francs. And I'm asking myself, 
that there is no chart, no statistics actually proving that he sold 20,000 copies and made 50 million francs benefit. We all know that Django Online is his personal streaming platform. Now, still talking about this, I will bring in my guest for today's episode for him to tell me exactly what he thinks about all this alleged record saying that Jovi is now a multi-millionaire. Let's welcome on today's episode Cameroonian upcoming rapper. He's a freestyler and he is called Lil Humble. Hey Lil Humble. Yeah, hi. Nice to meet you. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing very well today. I hope you're doing well too. Is everything okay? I'm doing fine too. Welcome on my show. Oh, the honor is mine. I'm actually very happy to be talking to you today. Thank you for having me. Okay, little humble. Jovi is reported to have made 50 million from his recently released mixtape. What are your thoughts about this? True or exaggeration? Well, I don't entirely believe that they did, but also I don't totally think that they didn't. I know there's always some truth to the words that we speak and the statements that we make. It's not just feelings. 50 mil if they did that, that'd be good. But if they didn't do it, then that'd be fake. And everything they ever said, I don't think I'm ever going to believe a word or take it for less, you know. I came here to analyze. That's what they told me to do. So I'm never going to pick a side. I just want to motivate and elevate. Stay true. I'm aiming for that 50 mil. That's my case. Yeah. So, actually, I think, like, it's a little bit exaggerated. Now, isn't it right for such affirmations to be backed up with proofs? Yeah. Today, music sales data don't gotta hide. Make it easy and public so everyone can find. If I sell a million records, I'm gonna be proud of what I'm doing and I'm gonna be proud of my shine and my grind, you know? It don't come easy to do that. So if people be curious, they need to know that. They need to believe that you're selling that so they can motivate more people to listen to that. That's the process, I believe. Proof for proof. And if you tell me you can do it, you gotta show me some proof. You can't tell me that you sold this with no proof and expect me to believe that be lame as Q, you know? So I think it's just logical that if I say I sell 5,000 copies, I could just show like chart why I showed, sold the copies and, and that'd be cool. It's not like I'm trying to brag or something. It's, it's just the way it's done. That's so brilliant and so enlightening. Thank you very much, Lil Humble, for being a guest on today's episode. Hope to see you pretty soon. Oh, well, thank you too for having me. It was a great time. It's always all love for me. Stay blessed. Okay, guys, you can check Lil Humble on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and all that. Cameroonian celebrities and confusion. See, eh, they are like this. Like five and six. I wonder the kind of investigations brand make before choosing some people to actually represent them. How can you be a brand ambassador for techno and you are constantly using an iPhone? What? what? <laughs> Not be juju be this. It has really been controversial lately with the hosts of Brand Ambassadors Techno Mobile Cameroon choose to represent them. And without twisting words, you can equally verify all those that are representing Techno Mobile here in Cameroon are all iPhone users. Very controversial, right? I don't know if this is stupidity or ignorance. And what is hard and juicy about this is that we even saw some people unpacking the Camon 17 videotaping with an iPhone. And I begin to, add, to wonder, what kind of brand ambassadors are these? Logically, when you represent a brand, you are supposed to be using exclusively the products from that brand until the contract with them is breached. Logically, that's how things are supposed to be. I don't know if this is only in Cameroon, but the celebrities that have been chosen to represent brands at times do it the wrong way. I don't know if it's that it's not included on the contract, the sign, because I don't, I don't understand how, like, let's, let's get it this way. It's like you're married to A and you're constantly seen hanging around with B. That's very controversial, right? That's the same thing with all techno ambassadors. They only show up on social media to talk about techno 
when it's on the flat when they are on the flyer holding of and flaunting the techno but when it comes to real life stuff they do their videos they take photos they do everything with their iphones recently cameroonian comedian dilalo comedian was caught using an iphone for all his videos his photos and stuff it's not an issue for you to have two phones like having an iphone and being signed to techno mobile but i think the moment you become an ambassador for a brand you are supposed to exclusively represent them on 100 percent and people should not see you with another product of the same range we could have comedian cabrera nanjib he was caught endorsing an itself phone and wearing an apple watch Jay, Jay. <laughs> only in cameroon i mean how can you represent itel and you're moving around with apple stuff maybe itel does not have enough gadget but still then that's not an excuse come on and I remember a few years back, Mr. Leo was equally signed to Itel, and he was always around with an iPhone. And people at that time were always like, why always Itel? And today, Techno is facing the same issue. And I feel like asking, why always Techno? What's wrong with Techno? Is it that for these celebrities, the best phone to use is iPhone? If for you, iPhone is the best, then don't sign contract that make you brand ambassadors refuse and wait when iphone comes to cameroon then they can sign you as their ambassadors since you guys love iphone so much sex tape gone wrong who should be blamed Presently, Cameroonian uh, journalist Martin Camus is getting it hot for have allowed his office to be used for pornography Reports coming straight away from the journalist says um, a lady came to his office with her boyfriend with a copy of his recently launched book debut for him to drop an autograph on it. And when he did, they took some few pictures before he took a leave for a few minutes from them, leaving them in the office. Only for him to come back and see everywhere on social media a sex party of the gay making love or having sex with another man in his office now that the sex tape leaked the girl is now crying everywhere that her body has been exposed on social media and i feel like asking you guys the girl first of all is 15 years i mean if you watch this video you'll be surprised of the things a 15 years girl is doing to a man i think it was a sex party it was not only one man People say there were three men in that room having sex with the girl. Personally, I think she should not be playing a victim because she was very much aware that the whole issue was videotaped. Why did she even allow herself to be videotaped while doing all the nasty things she was doing? Is she supposed to be considered as a victim? Check this video. J'ai envie de visiter le royaume de l'enfer avec ta bite, bébé. T'es le plus sexy, j'ai envie de toi. Je sais pas, quand on essaie avec d'autres, ça marche pas. T'es le plus chaud. T'es le plus bon. Quand tu vois, non. T'es le plus aphrodisiaque. Le pays est... Okay guys, these are words coming out from the mouth of a 15 years old girl. And my question to you is, who should be blamed? The girl or the guy who leaked the video or Martin Camus who allowed his office to be used for pornography? Let me know in the comment section what you think about this whole sex tape saga. Some Cameroonian artists organize a wedding, invite DJ, meet the DJ can entertain a guest. So the DJ can the wedding, they play in early foreign music. Even the artist is song, you know, even play even for one second. Ah! Who do we so? Are our artists on a curse? Or is it that our Cameroonian songs are not good enough? Can't we run an event for 48 hours straight with only Cameroonian music? Chai, some DJs would disgrace you. Now, so the team vex one of the guests. Founder of Musical Awards, guest Brian. If she don't for the wedding, they only play now, only for us, for us, on the thing, they chuck it, they chuck it, so they, it jump, take microphone. Start the quarrel with the DJ, like, it stop the party, only for this. Now, I don't understand why we be in the wedding of a Korean artist and a DJ from the beginning to the end has not played a single Cameroonian music. 
Ghanaian artist. Even the guy who is getting with it, it is unbelievable. DJs in Cameroon, you guys should have to sit down. Unfortunately, this is the reality of things and it's rather sad. Guys, tell me, was it right for guest Brian to have interrupted the wedding in such manner? Was it even the right place for him to address such issue? Let me know in the comment section. Okay guys, that's all we have for the first segment of today's episode. Don't forget to drop in the comment section your opinions on all the gist we just gave you. It's time for us to get it popping with the second segment of this program, which is the top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs of the week. Check it out. Our number 10 video of the week is coming straight away from Cameroonian artist Mystica AJ. The song is titled Comfortability and it's directed by Peter Larry. Watch and enjoy. Oh, baby, roll me for Isla. I know if you lie, say you bad now. You give me joy, can't deny that. And everything that you do now, you my ability. Call on BBC. Girl, you're my comfort for the ability. My everything, everything. Girl, you're my comfort for the ability. My ability. Call on BBC. Girl, you're my comfort for the Popping up at the ninth position, we have this beautiful song from Maxi Manor. The song is titled Lamu and it's directed by Techno Brian. Madna for you, c'est le mambo bébé, je pourrai jamais mentir. Our number 8 video of the week is coming straight away from Cameroonian comedian Kola Sucre. The title of the song is Bravo Soldat. Smashing our 7th position is this beautiful song titled Makanzi from Cameroonian artist Fresh Guy. The song is directed by Techno Brian. Our number 6 video of the week is coming straight away from Cameroonian artist Chindo. And the title of the song is Moves. Popping up at the fifth position is this beautiful song coming straight away from Nadia Ewande. And the title of the song is Popa Le Mélange. Our number fourth video of the week is this beautiful smashing collab song from Tizi Pancha, Bibi Smith, Cleo Gray, Mine, and King Kong Stanley Eno. The title of the song is Daddy Yayato. Brand new release coming straight away from Cameroonian serial hit maker Kosi. The title of the song is Chill and it smashes our third position. We divide beats for this time. I bought a wood. I go see the right song. No pass for Malay. No, the bring dread. Gonna play with the bad pong. So, like the bad pong. So, if you not feel right, you pass paper. You don't have to be talked to ten safer. Come on, go to John. Popping up at the second position is this beautiful smashing collab song from Cameroonian artist Renew featuring Hyman General Salatia. Title of the song is Making it to the top position of our top 10 hottest song this week, number one, is coming straight away from Cameroonian rapper Jovi, aka Bizu, aka Le Mans. Title of the song is Strong Enemies. Guys, watch and enjoy. I got friends, I got fam, I got enemies If you try to my cheek, you my friend and me I don't stop, but I bet you I'ma finish it She say she don't wanna be a friend with benefits She ride with the other side, so ride with me If your man got a problem, you should come see me Me and all my bros, we chill like a fraternity Rapping loco till I die for eternity Match up for my labo, go say hasta mañana Link up with the south, we rap a fana bafana She wanna know
Welcome to our pick of the week. This is definitely my favorite segment of this show. And on today's pick of the week, I am bringing to you those beautiful photos from Cameroonian artist yep, Mel B. Yep, yep. Aquen, aka La Pichichi. She recently gave birth to a beautiful bouncing baby girl. And as you can see from this photo, mother and daughter are doing extremely fine. A big shout out to you, Mel B, and congratulations. This is where we draw the cartoons for today's exciting episode of Kamez number one infotainment show hot and juicy. I was your host, Miss Ben. But before we go, a big congratulations to Cameroonian artist Minx who recently released his 15 tracks debut studio album titled Urban Bantu. The album is available on all streaming platforms, especially on Boomplay Music. Guys, you should check the album out. My favorite track on this album is Mayojo. It's fire. Okay, we keep the rendezvous for next week, same time, same channel. Subscribe to if you're here for the first time and tap the notification button. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. It's 237 Showbiz. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and we are very much active on our website too. Check out our new division, 237 Showbiz Studios, on Facebook and on Instagram. And like the page too. I'll be right back next week with so much more. Do have a great weekend.